I got you, friend, because it is a season. Back during a New Year's revival in 2017, me and my family had went to the services. And during the service, the bishop actually came up to me and prayed over me. And his prophecy was promotion. He prayed, he looked at me, and he said, I see promotion. So before even going up to the pool pit, I had that in my heart that that's what I wanted from God. I wanted more income. So I took that as confirmation and I went on about my life. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September go by. No promotion. Same job. Stagnant. Nothing. October gets here and I go into work one day. When I get in there, they take me into a little room and sit me down and tell me that they cut my position. And ain't nothing I can do about it. They will pay me for eight weeks. And I had eight weeks to find another position within the company. And if I didn't find a position, then I would be gone. When I tell y'all I cried like a baby, I cried. I found a cigarette from somebody and I went outside and smoked a Newport 100 on the curb. Now, my husband was off that day. He had then took my car to get service. So I had to call him to come back and get me. And he was like, what's wrong? What's wrong? I told him what had happened. And he's a man of faith. And he don't believe nothing happens for any bad reason. So he was like, don't worry about it. We good. That same day, I was blessed by seeing our son, who was 11 months at the time, take his first steps. Fast forward, I was feeling really down and out. I had actually cut all my hair off friends. I was applying for different positions at this job, trying to fix the situation. Like, I got to get this job back. So I finally had an interview for another position. Me and my husband prayed all night. I fasted about it. And I was like, for sure, I'm going to get this. The only thing was, it was about four or five pay grades up from where I was. So I had the interview and everything went good. But then I got a denial, likely because it was too far above my pay grade. So the beginning of December rolls around in 2017, and my paychecks had stopped. Now, mind you, we could survive off my husband's income, but things were just really tight at the moment because, again, we weren't expecting this to happen. Not only that, but we had just moved into a brand new house right before the layoff. To make matters even worse, my engine blew up in my car. <laughs> I am not lying to y'all friends. So I was trying to be positive about everything, but I kept thinking about a revival. And I'm like, man, he told me I was going to get promoted. I done got fired. I ain't get another position. My engine done blew up. What is going on? So I get a call from the company that says, hey, you got a severance package. And we're going to have it to you by the 15th. So that was good news. And here's where I started to see that God was present. But I wasn't really acknowledging it at the moment. Because sometimes we pray for stuff. And then when we start to get it and it's uncomfortable, we think it's a curse. When really it's the blessing that you asked for. It just got to be some rearranging happening, okay? Come January, I had a call from HR asking me, did I want to roll over my 401k? Or did I want to take it out? So I'm like, take it out. Now, all during this time, I'm looking for another job, but I won't find anything. And my husband was like, babe, just relax. Just take this time to just do whatever it is that you want to do. Come February now, I get another call from HR. This time they tell me, you know you got money in this account that we can go ahead and pay out to you or you can roll it over into your retirement, however you want to do it. I had no idea that I was ever even contributing to this at all. Now, mind you, all this time I hadn't had a car because my engine blew up in November. So I used that money to buy a new car. Now, by March, I had a job offer. Now, when I tell y'all this job was heavy on me, I just did not like the atmosphere. It was heavy in there. I had to pray and cry every morning in the parking lot before I went in there. But the job came with a title and about $10,000 extra than what I was getting paid at the last company. And then I got a call from my friend at the old company. And she said, hey, this manager want to talk to you. Um, they told me to give you their number and you need to call them. So I had a conversation with that person and they said for me to come back to the company, they had a position that would be great for me and I should just give it a try. But I was very hesitant. However, I applied, had the interview and I got hired. My first day back in that place, I ran into a manager that told me that she wanted me on her team that was starting up in November. So it was at that time, I really learned that God's plan is not my plan. I started to recognize that. So my termination date actually was in December. So really from January to July was the seven months of completion, just like the seven days of completion. I started back and did not have to repay my severance. I did not have to repay my 401k. I also came back with a promotion to a higher position. I worked from July to November and got another promotion in November. I worked from November to February and I got another promotion in February. Y'all not gonna believe this. I had another promotion by the end of 2019. So I continued to work in that role and I still pray daily, Lord, give me a spirit of understanding. Show me favor with men. Lord, you said I can have what I say. I'm standing on your word. And then God showed up again. Someone recommended me for a role and I didn't know that they were even doing that. So I interviewed for it and I got offered the position. And then the HR representative tells me, well, here is where they're gonna start you out at. The number was down here. It was way down here. And I know that I had gave God a number and that won't the number that he told me I was going to get. So I was like, mm. <sighs> and I started to doubt again. And then I heard a small, still voice literally in my head to say, say what it is that you want and believe it. So I told that HR rep, I said, I can't accept that. 
I won't accept anything below this number. And that's just what it is. So she told me we can't do that. Um, it'll take a lot of approvals and we can't do that right now. So immediately I got defeated and I was thinking, well, what am I going to do? And I said, well, you know what? This must not be the position for me. That's what I was thinking to myself. And before we got ready to end that call, she said, wait a minute. I just messaged the manager and I gave them the number and they said, it's okay. We'll start you there. Child, look at God. When I tell y'all it gives God good pleasure to give you the desires of your heart, it really does. It's just that sometimes it may be uncomfortable while you receive those things because sometimes he got to move stuff around for you. I was uncomfortable because I was trying to fix it myself, but that entire time God made a way. So the prophecy was real and all things was working together for good, although the enemy meant it for my bad. Now, you can stand on business all you want to. Just make sure you're standing on the word, too. Well, friends, I hope I ain't got y'all up in too much of a tease, and I'm going to call y'all back later on. Bye.